Now this little guy uh, is an offshoot of the infamous pink thing I once made at a Got Balloons Jam. I call him Bully Bob. As you can see, he's going to be a lot of pink. We've got three pink 260s, one inflated with about a five and a half to six inch tail, one inflated with about a four and a half inch tail, one inflated with about a three and a half inch tail. We've also got a pink six inch heart inflated till it's just starting to lobe out, kind of soft. A white five inch round at about an inch and a half in diameter. And this is a piece of a white 160. I inflated about 12 to 13 inches of it and then removed the excess and tied knots at both ends. So I've got just a little piece of balloon there. We're going to start with the longest of the 260s with about a three inch tail. And what we want to do is we're going to make a couple of fold twists to start. About a three and a half inch fold twist. And then another one, same size. And then we're going to pause there for a moment. We're going to take our pink heart and the knot end. You want to force here up into what would have been the nozzle. And then pinch that off into a little bubble. Oops, don't want it larger than that though. About like, oh. Bubble about that size there. And pop it. Ah, welcome back through the magic of video editing. Aha, I have restored my heart. Balloon magic, which I cannot tell you, or I would have to hunt you down and hurt you. Now, we'll make our little bubble again. That one's now too big. And then make this into a pinch twist by bringing the knot down twisting it around so you now have a distorted heart with a pinch twist on the end. Take that big pinch twist we made and bring it back in and hook it into those two fold twists we made on that 260. Making sure it's secured in place. Now we're going to take our 160, fold it in half because we want to find the midpoint. And I go ahead and twist it. It'll come undone later, but that's not important. To help me find that middle point, I'm going to put it behind this 260 and then fold it over to make a loop twist, catching that 168 inside it. This is going to be Bully Bob's head, and that will be his horns up there. As you can see him beginning to take shape a little bit. That's going to be his face. Then I'll take those horns and kind of curl them. Give them a little bit of shape like that. Okay, now we're going to take our five inch round, twist it into, split it into two small ones, about the same size. Now we want to come in from behind this big loop twist here, bringing one around either side. Or is it either side? Take your pick. And then cross those eyes over to lock them in place. And there we have Bully Bob's head. Let's give him some features so you can see him. Like that. Now we're going to make his body with what's left of this 260 here. Come back from the back of his head and make a little bubble about an inch to an inch and a half. Now we're going to make a little half inch bubble, make that into a pinch twist. And then what you've got left here, you want to go about a third of that roughly. So whatever is about a third. And then we're going to make a little pinch twist at the bottom of that. We're making a half inch bubble and a pinch twist. Come back up to the top, twist into that top pinch twist. Back down to the bottom, and what's left will be a little stumpy tail. Twist it around that bottom pinch twist. So now you've got his body there. Now we just need arms and legs. Of our two, two sixes, you want to take, again, the longer, the one with about a four and a half inch tail, we're going to make his arms. Make about a one inch bubble, a half inch bubble, 
Take that into a pinch twist. Another half inch bubble. And again into a pinch twist. And then you can make about a one inch bubble. Another one inch bubble, same size. And then lock it into those two pinch twists. Making his arm. And depending on which part of the video you watch before, you may have already seen this. And then come down to the end, and I'll take and about the width of my hand with about an inch on the end there. Pinch that off. Make a little half inch bubble. Make it into a pinch twist. Another half inch bubble. Again, a pinch twist. Secure that. Now with what's left, divide that into thirds. One, two, and then the third one is this last thumb. Sometimes it comes out longer than the other, but if you're lucky and did it right, it comes out at the end with no excess. Fold that in half, find the middle, and then that pinch twist on the back of his neck there is where we'll lock his arms in. Just cross them over once to lock them in place. And you can position his arms however you like them, waving up, waving down, whatever personal preference. I like to give a little bit of shape there so he's kind of standing like that. And now for his feet, we'll take our last 260, twist about a two and a half to three inch bubble, a little half inch bubble, make that into a pinch twist, make about a one inch bubble, another half inch bubble, make that one into a pinch twist, and then another bubble the same size as this first one we made here. And then we're going to repeat the process for his other foot. So make your long bubble, about two and a half, half inch bubble, pinch twist, one inch bubble. If that comes undone, don't worry, half inch bubble, pinch twist, and then come back down again to that middle point there. This excess we're just going to take off. And then a way to help secure that while I'm still holding that piece where I just cut that off, I'll wrap that around once. And then I've got those two ends, and I'll just tie them together real quick. And now it's secured. Then we'll take that, and in the bottom where we had that bottom pinch twist and that little nub of the tail, wrap those around, cross them over once to secure them. And now you've got Bully Bob.